Beacon Hills is fictional. There's no such place. But there are a number of iconic locations in the real world where the show was filmed that are not only not fictional, but that Teen Wolf fans can and should actually visit if you get the chance. Today I'm going to detail seven such spots, tell you a little about their history, and show you how to get there. Also, I'll take you to one of the most recognizable Teen Wolf locations, which is now, sadly, just another generic strip mall in the San Fernando Valley. Before we get started, if you're enjoying these trips back to Beacon Hills, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted when I drop new content. Let's start near the end of the show's run at the Hill Valley Zoo. Technically, this location isn't inside Beacon Hills city limits. It's one town over. But in season six, it's where Theo and Liam successfully bluffed Gerard and the hunters to distract them from what the pack was really up to. Isn't that right? In real life, this was once a popular zoo located in Griffith Park in Los Angeles. They shut it down due to inhumane conditions and the operating costs to taxpayers. It's now a picnic area, and the only time there are animals on site is for filming movies and TV shows, like the Anchorman scene with the bear and the gay penguin episode of Parks and Rec. Still, you couldn't have asked for better weather. You could visit the old LA Zoo today by heading down to Griffith Park Drive. I've linked a map for you in the description. Our next stop on the tour is several miles away from Beacon Hills in the equally fictional town of Fairvale. The Motel Glen Capri was the site of the darkest chapter in Teen Wolf history. It was at this mid-century modern motel that a combination of Wolfsbane poisoning and creepy vibes sent all the werewolves into terrifying and depressing hallucinations. It ultimately resulted in Scott McCall's suicide attempt. Scott, you're my best friend. Kane, I need you. Scott, you're my brother. Now, you can not only visit the Motel Glen Capri, but you can stay overnight there. Just don't expect your room to look like it did on the TV show. While all the exterior shots were filmed on location, the specific rooms the characters stayed in during the episode were a set that was specifically built for Teen Wolf. Still, it's a very cool place for Teen Wolf fans, and it's right on the border between Glendale and Burbank, so it's sort of near the airport and not too far from Universal Studios. Again, links to the Motel California location in the description. There have actually been three locations used for the Beacon Hill Sheriff Station over the years. The first one was in Atlanta in a nondescript storefront on Nelson Street near downtown. The last sheriff station was built entirely inside the Teen Wolf studio. But during season three, they used the exteriors and interiors at an historic police station in the Highland Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. The building on York Drive was completed in 1925 and then reopened as the Los Angeles Police Museum some seven decades later. Again, this was only used in a few episodes in season three, but tickets are only 10 bucks, and you can actually sit in the same cell that Derek and Argent occupied during their conversation about Styles and the Nagitsune. You know if all of this is true, people are dead because of Styles. I've linked you to all the details about the Los Angeles Police Museum in the description. Like you're being strangled. Like the sheriff's case. station, Beacon Hills High School was actually filmed in multiple locations. There was this pilot episode shot in Georgia in 2010, which used Grady High School on Charles Allen Drive in Midtown Atlanta. Once the show got picked up to series, the production moved their school episodes into the abandoned Briarcliff High School in DeKalb County. Now that served as Beacon Hills High School until the show moved their production to Los Angeles. The kids from Beacon Hills then moved into Palisades Charter High School just outside Santa Monica, California. I thought I made it clear that Beacon Hills High School was a dedicated safe space. This school has quite a history with Hollywood. Back in the 1970s, George Lucas and Brian De Palma held a joint casting call here for their upcoming films Star Wars and Carrie. 
That's why you can find video of the actors from Carrie reading Star Wars dialogue on YouTube. The plans and specifications to a battle station. Then, in the late 90s, Pally was home to Ryan Murphy's first successful television series. It was called Popular and showcased newcomers Leslie Bibb and Sarah Rue, among other now famous faces. Buddy, I know a new school can be scary, so a little advice. Every time you meet someone new, pay them a compliment. The location also showed up in the NBC comedy Modern Family before becoming Beacon Hills High School. No! Do not come in here! Get back! Of course, most of what we saw inside the school was filmed at Teen Wolf Studios. They had a couple of hallways, classrooms, and the locker room inside a warehouse. When the studio was located on Balboa Boulevard, they also had this little strip of grass outside, which served as one of the school locations. They lost that outdoor spot when they moved into their new studio during season six, so the production built the outdoor area inside. This courtyard between the main hallway and the library was all filmed inside a warehouse. And action! And while Palisades High School has an athletic field, the all-night shoots Teen Wolf had to do for their lacrosse games were logistically impossible to pull off there. When they needed to shoot a game, they ran down to Woodley Park in Van Nuys, California. This is also where they shot most of the scenes of the characters driving because they could easily close off the park's internal road system. What are you doing? Driving. We're right behind them. Okay, well, do you see any turns? Links to all the various Beacon Hills High School locations are in the description. One of the most beautiful Teen Wolf locations is also one of the most tragic. It was at Oak Creek Concentration Camp where Nishiko, Satomi, and the rest of the Japanese Americans were unconstitutionally detained during World War II. I can feel your glare on the back of my head, Satomi. Oak Creek is also where Allison died in Scott's arms. It's okay. While this location holds a lot of negative memories for fans, the real world site is actually really pretty. Teen Wolf filmed all the Oak Park scenes at Fort MacArthur, a former military base in San Pedro, California. Built in 1914, the base protected Los Angeles Harbor until the 1970s. It's since been divided up into different sections. The most famous is Angels Gate Park, which offers spectacular views of the Pacific Ocean and Catalina Island. There's also a museum, and several of the original military facilities are still standing. They welcome visitors year-round. Our next stop was also active during wartime in the Teen Wolf universe. Eichenhaus served as a hospital for the residents at Oak Creek, and it was here where the Beacon Hills Nogitsune first massacred so many. Later, once Eichen returned to treating the mentally ill, the Nogitsune again attacked. Just let her go. Let me in. This is another place where almost all the memories are bad, like Lydia being drilled by Dr. Valak. But the location itself is actually quite lovely. Eichen House in the real world is the Mary Andrews Clark Memorial Residence, a fantastic 76,000 square foot French Revival Chateau built by a copper miner as apartments for single career women in 1913. Located on top of what was once known as Crown Hill in downtown Los Angeles, the house also serves as a location in a bunch of different TV shows. Currently, the building at Loma Drive and 3rd Street is occupied with low-cost, affordable apartments. So you can't just show up for a tour, but you can grab a selfie at the iconic gate out front. One place that should be wide open when you go is the Beacon Hills Preserve. During their final four seasons, the home of the Nemeton was filmed at various points in Malibu Creek State Park. It would be nearly impossible for you to find a landmark in all this wilderness, but we do know that the production used the Tapia Park Day Use Area quite a bit. So, roaming around in there should make you feel like you're right back home in Beacon Hills. This park is right off Malibu Canyon Road between Malibu and Calabasas. There's a state park's parking fee, but otherwise you're free to roam to your heart's content. Thanks for watching our list of seven cool Teen Wolf filming locations you can and should visit, but there's one really iconic spot that you'll never get to see in real life. Beacon Hills Hospital, the iconic medical center where Melissa McCall worked and where so much criminal medical malpractice seemed to happen every week. 
It was actually filmed right outside Teen Wolf Studios in the 8,000 block of Balboa Boulevard in the Northridge neighborhood. All they had to do was add signs and CGI in several new floors to the top. It was a perfect hospital and so many things went down in front of this building from season three until season six. As I mentioned before, they used this strip of land between the offices and the warehouse studio for part of Beacon Hills High School. They also used the back of this building for the entrance to the vet clinic. All of that ended a few weeks into filming season six when the production's lease was up and they had to move to a new studio in a different neighborhood. The Balboa studio was sold and torn down in 2016. If you stop by today, you can grab some burgers or a little chipotle but there is no sign of Beacon Hills Hospital anymore.